Welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey guys. And today we have Maria Canals Barrera in the studio. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. So you have played the mama to Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, and tons of other Hollywood stars. So we want to kind of like get some advice from you when it comes to being young, basically. Okay, well, <laughs> don't forget to floss. Okay. Because it's very important. important. Yes. Yes, yes. Well, um, it's you funny. Were, you were showing us what your mom used to tell you. Oh, when we were talking about things like not bothering you, right? Letting things slide off your back. Oh, My mom, who's Cuban, would say, Yo me tomo un batido de quimbombo pa que tome resbali. Which means <clears throat> translation. It translation. Means, translation. Let's dance. I drink a shake of quimbombo, which is okra, <laughs> no. so that everything slides off. <laughs> That's what it means. I know because so you know how okra is like. What are off. we supposed to take away from the, the okra deeper, drink? The deeper, more zen meaning is, <laughs> girl, let it go. Thank let it you. Go. I love that. That's so, great. Um, so the, yeah, so my mom would would say things like, you know, just don't worry about it, or you know, take their mask off. So is that like a mentality you would you pass on to your kids? Not no, my mother's not well. I don't tell them, I don't I don't quote everything that my mother says. <laughs> my mother will call me and say, ring the phone rings and I say hello and my mother will say, I almost choked last night and nobody noticed. And I, oh hi mom. Well you know you got to make sure that you chew and swallow before you talk. <laughs> That's the kind of woman I'm dealing with. Oh, I she, love her already. I love yeah, this woman. She's a total and complete trip. <laughs> So I try to keep the good, she was a lot of fun, and let go of the bad, uh -huh. and learn some new stuff, and be the best mom I can be on a serious note, right? Because it's the most important thing in the world. I was going to say, I feel like you're a good role model Thank to you. the kids that you work with on these shows. Well, I want to be, you know, and I take it seriously, you know, like even on Twitter, you know, they'll ask me things, you know, fans, mm -hmm. and um, and it's it's overwhelming to, you know, to be called mama on some things, on some, and yeah. oh, wow. they ask questions and stuff, you know. So, you know, I can't help it, first of all, uh, to say things to my teenage co workers, unsolicited <laughs> advice, I call it, because they don't always want to know. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I tell them things like, don't give your heart away so fast. Don't be in such a hurry. It ain't all that, you mm -hmm. know. It's made out to look like, you know, growing up fast is everything. It's all the rage, and, or and it's not. You know, enjoy this time, uh, especially girls. Gosh, isn't it hard for us not to put that romantic love as number one? It's hard, yeah, uh, yeah. and it can't be number one. It's important, and but when it's everything, you know, you lose yourself, and you can't, you can't lose yourself and your principles and what's important to you and what matters to you and your values. So. You know stuff like that that really transcends you know normal people hollywood people i mean everybody mm -hmm. has that in common i would say really going through those sorts of things when they're teenagers you mean, all, you mean we're all the same right of exactly course. we're all people Definitely. listen being on tv it, like, like it's just a fun job you know like when a kid gets like oh my gosh you know I, it's sweet and i know where they're coming from but i like to remind them hey sweetie i'm just i'm just a lady and uh, I have a fun job, and thanks for watching, you know, and I exactly. give them a hug, you know, um, because that's that's very true. We all go through the same things, exactly. and that's good for people, especially young kids, to remember. You know, Selena's a girl. Mm -hmm. J uh, J you know, Justin, uh, I mean, uh, David Henry is, is, you know, is a young guy going through, you know, working, and, and he's got a great job, and he gets, he's funny. Um, but he's a real guy, and he, you know what he wants? He wants to find a wonderful girl and get married. You know, it's like what a Ladies, lot. Of, take note. Yeah. <laughs> right? Audition, get in line. Yes, exactly. You have to pass me. <laughs> Were there any, ever any struggles on the set with the kids, like balancing being a professional actor and working this job, and then school? Because that's obviously you know, if a there have been, they don't. I, I haven't seen it. In fact, I've oh, been really? in awe of how. Like we get there, you know, the adults get there at like 9 a.m. We're like, oh man, I need a cup of coffee. Yeah, cool. And the kids are like, <laughs> already working. They've been there since seven o'clock. They're like, oh, I've been here since seven at school. And now I'm ready to rehearse, and and they're off book sometimes. I'm like, ah, that's just amazing. Wow, that's what youth is for. You so know? did you learn anything from them then? Have you learned anything? Yeah, from that your you kids? can do it. And I already, I already honestly, because I love what I do, it's not like a big. It's like. 
you have to love it because it's not easy. It's so hard. And to have, you know, to have a family and to be an actor and to be, you know, deal with the craziness, uh, the ups and downs, and you, you have to love it. So nobody has to tell me, you know, take this seriously. I always have taken it seriously. So, and Selena, I know, like, I knew it from the get-go. You know, these kids that I work with, nobody has to tell them, you better, you better do this. You better, you know, go to school on time and you better learn your lines. <laughs> they're so driven. They just, yeah. And it's they're not driven like in a ferocious, in a like, right. get out of my way, I'm going to star. Not right. like in that kind of way. It's like, this is what I want to do. Uh -huh. I love it. I'm blessed to be here. Let's do it. It's that kind of, the healthy way of being ambitious, not the negative connotations of being ambitious. And, you know, when people are starting out and they'd say, like, I remember, like, when I first moved to L.A., I guess it's something about being in LA in the town, and but everybody has a freaking headshot. It's like, it's like you know, the you bank go. teller has a headshot. I'm like, oh, where did you yeah. study? Oh, I don't really, I don't, I haven't really gone to acting school, but um, I just thought I'd try it. And I'm, like, my and I'm like, oh, they must have no idea how hard it is. But you know what? Anything is possible. Uh -huh. Anything is possible. And that bank teller could audition for something and get it and discover her passion. You know, so I'm, I'm not about to tell somebody. Forget it, kid. Right, yeah. exactly. But, you know, I do say, people ask me a lot, fans ask me. For advice. For advice yeah. about being an actor, and they'll say, you know, what should I do? Or, you know, moms will say, my daughter wants to be an actress, what advice do you give? And I say, you know, prepare, train, 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 prepare, and make sure that you love it. Mm -hmm. And then go for it and never give up. And if you know you have something to give, you know it. You know it in your knower, my friend Zena would say. You know it in your knower, and you got to just, <laughs> you go for it. Uh huh. And uh, something another acting teacher taught me is that not everybody's going to love you. Not everyone is for all markets. Mm -hmm. You know, except maybe Johnny Depp, but <laughs> Brad Pitt, you know. Because yeah. everyone's market around <laughs> here. Uh -huh. yeah. But meaning that it's okay if you didn't get this gig. He was like almost preparing us for, you know, there is a place for you if you have something to give and if you have talent and you have endless determination. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, I don't encourage it with my girls, but I don't discourage it either. Yeah, do you oh. think either of your girls would yeah. ever want to oh. get into acting? Well, people say, oh my gosh, Maria, it's inevitable. <laughs> because they have a lot of, I mean, they're not like shy at all <laughs> to perform. I don't know if it's because they see my husband, David Barrera, who's an, a wonderful actor. If they see us doing it all the time, you know, uh -huh. that it's, it's normal. It's, it's, it's in the blood, maybe. Yeah, they don't know that it's a big deal to get up on stage and sing in front of the whole school in, when you're in kindergarten. She's like, couldn't wait to do it. Got yeah, to, she, yeah. kinda, she was like, kind of like bummed because the stage, the audience wasn't full. And I said, honey, it's a rehearsal. It's a dress rehearsal. <laughs> She was like, where's the audience? And I said, it's a rehearsal. Show night is going to be full. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, I, I don't it. know where she gets it from. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. So she has a beautiful voice. Both of them do. And um, well, she has a really beautiful voice. And my little one, like this year, my big girl's going to sing again in the school show. And the little one's going to do a dance. And, you know, if they love it, again, if they uh -huh. love it and they want to pursue it, we will support them and give them the benefit of the knowledge that we've garnered throughout this painful process. Uh, and if they don't, then we'll probably be like, okay, well, you know, they saved themselves probably some pain because it's very difficult. But you know what? There are a lot of jobs that are very difficult. I feel like I learned a lot right I now. I know. Thank you, I darling. need a notepad or something to write all this down. No, I'm still leave your check over at the, here. Leave your check at the... I will. <laughs> I'm going to leave my money at the front desk when I leave. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us oh, today. Oh, you're welcome. It was my pleasure. Maria Canals Pereira. Yes, yes. Wizards of Waverly Place, fourth and final season. Tear, tear. Yes. Make, sure you, make sure you guys check out our other I interview. I know you meant our, that. I know she meant it. Right. She no, did. it is. Here. Where's that tissue? Where'd it go? We used it all. Make sure you guys tune back to Clever TV for another interview all about Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.